Hi, welcome to the number two seed of UC San Diego Tritons head coach Eric Newman. Two, and his two sluggers from the night both with two run home runs. Xander Clark on the right, junior outfielder. Senior second baseman Justin Beck on the left. Coaching, if you can please start us off a little bit uh, with some general comments on tonight's 5 2 win over Chico State in the winner's bracket. Uh, I thought it was a well played game. I mean, both teams were competing really hard. I thought it was a good baseball game. Uh, with the exception of seven walks on our side, the, those free bases, we got to start cleaning that up. Um, you know, we had too many yesterday too. We got to we got to shore that part up. But uh, when you get when you get guys that come in and um, like Lucky and um, Jarvis Curry did a really nice job of settling the game back down, keeping the momentum on our side. I thought our at bats were really good uh, throughout the game. Um, guys were grinding. They were working at bats, uh, and so I was I was pleased. We played great defense. Um, guys were making plays and talking and communicating. I liked I liked the energy of the game. I mean, it was just it was just a good baseball game. Um, I, know, I thought on both sides, but I, I really liked the way our guys competed. Just to start with you, you had the, uh, you opened the scoring, got cut down at the wall in your first at bat on that double. Uh, no doubt on that second at bat. Uh, talk about that the home run, please. Oh uh, yeah, I was seeing him well. I mean, the whole team was putting together quality at bats. Uh, if that's what we would preach, so. Um, but yeah, the first at bat, got a fastball out, and you know that's that's what we do. And then um, Coach Blood helped me with that second one, put me in a good approach, and I got the pitch and didn't miss it. So, Zane, what a start to your week! Uh, second home run as many nights uh, at this venue. Uh, obviously, valuable insurance runs. Uh, talk about your night a little bit, please. Um, I think we broke pitcher down pretty good, one through nine. Our uh, hitters had really competitive at bats. Uh, my night. Went well in the third at bat, and by then our batters had gotten to him. Uh, he's a little bit tired. He made a mistake, and it's baseball. Then this uh, club on the other side, they won this tournament two years in a row. They don't make a lot of mistakes. They made a couple there uh, in that eighth inning, and you guys took advantage with a, a needed insurance run. You were a big part of that. Uh, talk about the importance of getting getting yourself around there. Yeah, especially in the postseason. Not a lot of teams make mistakes. And um, as well in the postseason, we have to capitalize on it mistakes that they make. And um, I think we've been doing that really well right now. Coach, bottom of the fourth inning, uh, after you got the two runs on Justin's home run, uh, load of the bases, you called on Kyle Lucky, and that was a huge, huge uh, moment for him. Yeah, I mean, Kyle's been that guy for us um, all year long coming out of the pen. He did it yesterday. Uh, score was a little different, but the situation was the same. Um, came in and, you know, gets us. He just comes out of the pen and he settles it down because he's, he attacks. He can throw that breaking ball for a strike when he needs to, so he can come in and you know get after you with the fastball or go breaking ball for a strike, and just he's able to keep the count in his favor uh, for the most part. And he did a good job of that in that in that at bat. Um, it was obviously a very very important moment in the game, uh, and he was able to really compete really well in that moment. And and you, I mean I thought the I thought Blakeman was competing too. I mean he runs it to a full count, fouls a couple off. And he chases, a, you know, he chases a little bit, but I mean that's baseball, you know, that's that's what you want to see, you know, and, and you know I thought it was, thought it was a, uh, a just a really competitive moment and a competitive game. I think you could feel it. That it was like every pitch, there was, you know, there was uh, competitiveness almost on every single pitch from both sides, and that was it's fun to be a part of games like that. Just in your first year in this program, really coming into your own here, power, got the power stroke working, etc. Uh, talk about uh, your your development this season as a part of this club. I mean, it all starts up top. I mean, coaches have been great working with me, and you know, a lot of hard work and a lot of time off the field. Um, you know, a lot of talking with my roommate over there, and um, you know, it, it feels good, you know, to contribute and, and win. So that's the big thing. Coach Power has been such a big part of your game this season. Obviously, wanted to, you know put some some pitching tonight as well, but. Um, still can't escape the fact that the four runs came on those home runs, 69 long balls for your club this season. Uh, if you could talk about that part of your game a little bit, please. I mean, good players, <laughs> honestly. Good players buying into a system. Uh, that's what it comes down to. Uh, I mean, you can have you can have a great system. If you don't have good players, they're not going to do it. You, got, you could have good players without a good system, and it, and it doesn't always work. So it's, it's good players in a good system buying into what we preach, and I mean, I really appreciate these two guys because they're, you know, they're coming here from, you know, places where they've had some success and, um, 
been on some good teams and been at a high level of baseball and they came in and we preached it and they were like, yeah, let's do that, you know, and they, and they bought in and, and the results have been a product of that. So I'm just, I'm happy for them. I'm happy for their uh, success. I'm, I know it's, it's fun, you know, it's fun when you're playing baseball and you're having success and you believe in what you're doing and you got uh, a good team and, you know, guys are just, you know, having a good time, the camaraderie, the chemistry throughout. It's been really fun to, fun to watch. So that's, to me, I think, yeah, it's, it, it, it just comes down to good players buying into a good approach and, and really believing in it. Finally, because I know I got asked, we didn't speak on Tuesday, but you're also in your first year in this program, the MVP of a formidable conference. Uh, talk about how that, how that feels to get that award. It feels like a team effort to me. Um, I mean, I had a great season between two really good hitters and within a really, really good lineup of hitters with great defense. And I thought that, you know, I was just a contributor to the team and I'm glad I could help. Thanks guys, thank you. Thanks Stella.